Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is going to be a try and keep this video short. It's going to be a few tips and tricks for your reshade, and I'll show you what enhanced lights does. Um, <coughs> the earlier versions of reshade, um, everybody's having trouble with it. A lot of people removed it because X plane was crashing and things like that. But they've come up with a new one uh, called the uh, reshade 4.2.1. But you can't get it on the X plane dot org uh, website you've got to get it from the reshade website and that's this website here you just do a google search for reshade dot me and that's what you look for when you open it get this page and to download it you go to the bottom of the page and there's a download link here and you can click on and download it and you see down here it's re it's downloading and i can open it here for you and run it but what it does is um, you'll get you can download it you can do it that way or it'll put a thing like this on your page which is reshade point four point two point one so I can click this off and you can start it this way too same thing right I started it directly from the page but you can download it put it on your page and do it that way and save it and you'll get this thing Select game to install. Now here's where the confusion is. A lot of people are wondering, well, do you click on the X-Plane folder or what? What you got to click on is you, you go into, this is showing up on the C drive, but that's the default. But I've got mine in the uh, D drive, so i got to open up the D, D drive. Mind your X-Plane 11. I'm all stuffed up this morning. Steam, Steam apps, uh, common x plane 11 so you open up your x plane 11 and what you actually click on is the exe file down here click on that and open it and this will pop up and you can select all your you'll get a message i've already got it installed so i don't see it but you'll get a message in here saying uh download all the reshades and you click on it yes and download them but the open gl is the one you want and you notice that it's highlighted, but it's still not really highlighted. For, for it to highlight, you got to click on it again. There, and you see, and because I've already got it installed, I get this. So, I'm not going to take it the next step. This is where you would get the message saying, download all the reshades, and you click yes, and they install. So, that's how you get your reshade. And I could show it to you here. Um, on your X.11 main main page you get it right here reshade reshaders and if you open it up you got all your shades in here and here they are all here so that's where that is so once you get it installed i got the game already open for to speed things up but what i want to talk to you about this is this is uh, uh the old reshades too you used to have to click on shift plus f2 to open it this one you just hit the home key there it is open. I'm going to close it again. Because the first thing I want to talk about is there's another thing you can get. And I'll post a link to it under the video. There's another thing you can get called Enhanced Lights. I mentioned it before, but I never actually showed what it did. What it did. And what Enhanced Lights does, if I go to nighttime, uh, you see all these streets are lit up. And all the buildings are lit up. Here's some buildings lit up over here. Right over here. There's some more over here. That's what enhanced lighting does. I really like it. It's a nice effect. Look at how all those streets are lit up. That's enhanced lighting. I'll put a link to it. But we're gonna I'm just gonna show you a few tips and tricks. I'll go back to daytime here. This is pretty much what default looks like. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with the with the uh, reshade 4.2.1. Uh, I only use a couple of them. A lot of them are crazy. Like for instance, uh, they got night night in here. It's crazy. Night vision. Here's night vision. Who wants to fly around like that? So I wouldn't use that. And there's some that's got there's sepia. So, so you've got a few. You got to go through them and see what you like. 
um, HDR. Sometimes I use that. It sharpens things up. See? But the ones I use, and what I'm going to show you here is just a few examples of the tricks that you can use with reshade. Because a lot of people think you just click on the reshade and that's it. But I use color matrix. Or no, color, where there's, there's color matrix. Um, color fullness, if I can find it in here. Color fullness. I use this one because what I like about it is when you open it, that's what you get. But it actually, if you go down here, this is a trick that people might overlook. Is you can actually play with the amount underneath the menu. Here's the menu, and here's the thing for color fullness. It'll say right there what it, which one it is. And you grab the color fullness slider. You can add more color, less color. I like it about there, I guess. And, and that one, and the, the one I use a lot more than, than the others is, a, is one called Tone Map. Down at the bottom right here, Tone Map. There's Tone Map. What I like about Tone Map is with this slider, you can brighten the day, you can darken the day. set it about there that's where I like it and that's that's for my day flying that's that's what I like everybody's tastes are a little bit different but that's what I like for day flying LC shop I guess get these stupid ads popping up that's my day flying but the trick I want to show you here is for night flying if I go back into my thing there's another one here called magic bloom I don't like it for daytime. I only use it for night flying because you can see how it blooms things up. It, it kind of makes things pretty hazy. But for night flying, uh, I'll go to nighttime here for you. I got to get out of it for a second. Go to nighttime. Go back into the Magic Bloom, and here's the thing down here, Magic Bloom, make sure you got the right one down here, and with its slider, you can add all kinds of bloom, see? I like it about there, for nighttime, but I wouldn't use it in the daytime, because the daytime, it's, it's, uh, I download it here. Daytime it kind of hazes things up more than I like. You can fly with it in the daytime. I mean, that's what you get in the daytime. You might be able to uh, to go with the tone map and maybe put on more gamma and darken it up a bit. could fly with the bloom on with with the gamma like that and then uh, when you're you go to nighttime it darkens up your bloom see then it darkens up your uh, your uh, enhanced lighting too so normally what I do is I leave that off. I only use it for night flying. Turn off the tone map. And then I can use it for night flying. So put my tone map back on. I get back to daytime here for a second. So I got it where I like it. There, I got it looking good now. You go to night, and you can see your your bloom. So those are just some tricks you can do with that uh, reshade. I just thought I'd point that out to you. I hope this 
gives you more stuff to play with, guys, and have a nice day.